guest in the building, so I'm going to let you say who you are and where you're from. What's up, y'all? It's Karina. I'm from San Jose, California. Hey, San Jose. See, I would have said the wrong city. What would you, oh, you said, I was going to say the town, but... Oh, listen. Hey, I've been in the town, um, <laughs> working in the town since I was probably about 19 years old. But yes, I am actually born and San raised Ho, in San the Ho. Shark Tank. Yes, the 408. I okay? love the Shark Tank. So, let, And then it. who did you bring with you tonight? And I brought my brother. DJ Tussie. Hey, what's up? Do you mm. want to announce yourself? Say we from? Uh, yeah. Mick, of course. How Mick, I Mick Tussie. <laughs> yeah, Mick Tussie, you <laughs> know what I'm here. saying? He's been here a couple times yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. This is it. It feels good to be back in here, actually. It's like the progression from when I was here. Thank I think, you. Right out of the pandemic, maybe? Yes, correct. Yeah, we moved in so, right after the pandemic. Yeah, this looks, this look, it looks like home now. It's definitely it home. It looks good, yeah. yeah it feels it looks good. I appreciate it. We have art from all the local artists. Like, that's True Story Tweez right there. He paints for us um people have painted signs and put them in here and i, I want to make sure and shout out that fo3 movement real quick fo3 i hosted a barbecue this saturday for a really great cause in stockton california for um trade day it's a third annual trade day young man super dope athlete was killed in a car accident so mm. they want to bring awareness to safe driving so we were out there with the official ant this uh saturday so much love to stockton california i also hit up ben chaos's show for the Chance to open for Sada Baby, who will be in Lodi at the High Water Brewery the 28th of October. I'll be there for that. I would see Sada Baby in Lodi. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hey, come on that out. That sounds way better than anywhere else. Come on out. It's right here. You got one right in front of you. See? Sada Baby in Lodi? Yeah. 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 Sax been popping. Didn't you guys just have all three Greedo out here? Yeah, too? he was last night. Yeah. Yeah, and if I wasn't being a baby and I wanted to be backstage, I didn't want to be with the regular Deglers, I would have went. Ugh. But I couldn't get my connection. Like, Trilliano has been on tour, so I couldn't get him to call him and be like, let me backstage. So I was just at home like, don't you hate when you like you've been introduced <laughs> to the good life and you're like yeah, I'm not going as a patron. I don't want to do it, like. but I should because that's how I started as a patron. You feel me? No, like, fuck that. We've been in this shit too long to just stand general admission in line and shit. Agreed. I ain't gonna lie. I don't be going to shit. Like if I can't get like unless it's an artist that like is like really really is like oh my god I've too been listening. big for yeah yeah too big for like for the, me the to hookup. Reach, yes. But if it's like I'm like listen. I need y'all need to get me in, or I'm probably gonna sit at home. Then me and you are the same on that aspect. And mm -hmm. I so the last time I came to one of your events, it was a Gager event. It was the same thing Eddie went to. Um, it yeah. was for your album. Oh, the Twitter. Yeah, at the Twitter building. That was crazy. <laughs> it was lit. There's so many stories behind. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sure. that was wild. Yeah. <laughs> what a good time. So you're not only an artist, you're also a producer. I'm an engineer. Engineer. Yeah. And what other things do you have under your belt? What are you doing? And you do podcasts. I have. I ju we just started a podcast. That's the, um, It's hard to say podcast. It's hard to say podcast. I just got into event production, which is a uh, really new, a very new space for me. But I'm I'm decent at it, and I could see myself being even better um, than I am right now. So like that's something that I want to continue um, doing. I guess just I'm really just an entrepreneur, a music professional. Are you available to be engineer for people to hire? Are you for hire? Yeah, absolutely. So you can go to uh, studioxrecording.com and you can book any of our engineers, including myself. Um, I do recording, mixing, mastering, songwriting. Um, we also do podcasts. We do vocal lessons, vocal productions. We have guitar lessons. How did you get into engineering? It was an accident. Uh, I, uh, best story. <laughs> yeah, it was actually an accident. Like, never... So when I was eight years old, right, I knew what I wanted to do, which is like really, that's lucky because a lot of people like, you know, sometimes people don't know what they want to do ever in their life. Yeah. I knew at about eight years old, I wanted to do something in music. So Same. Yeah. Like you just like, and, and nothing's ever stopped. Have I veered off course? Maybe a little bit, but I've never quit. Um, and so I turned about, I don't know, 18, 19 mm -hmm. and I moved in my auntie's house and she was like, uh, you can move here. Because my mom, as, as soon as I graduated, they moved to Colorado. And I had to go. And okay, like, so you've had to figure something out. Yeah, and I was like, I don't want to live here. Like, I don't know anybody here. This is not it. It's, <laughs> it's cold. Like, what the fuck is this? Colorado. Yeah, like, it was just like, you know. And, and it ended up being cool. I stayed there for a couple months. But fuck no. <laughs> I came back. Cali girl. Yeah, I'm a Cali girl. And I came back and I stayed with my auntie. And she said, hey, you can stay here. You don't have to pay rent, but you need to go to school. And nobody ever pushed school in my household like that. Right. And I was like, ew, what the fuck? Like, I hate school, but I do. I, I love it now. Right. Stay in school, kids. I hated it when I was, stay I hated in, it when stay I was in school. Stay in school. Stay in school. But back in the day, I was like, girl, like I'm going to go get a job, make this money, and be a rap star. That's what I do. 
Period. And, yeah, like, what the fuck? And so, but I was just like, whatever. Like, I'm going to go sign up. Woo, woo. And then I found out you get financial aid. I'm like, oh, they don't pay me. They'll help. Yes. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And then you can get the, the waiver to knock your classes down. So in the free. bag. You just pocket all that shit. And then you get in the classes so your books are free. Listen, I had a whole... I figured it out. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm going to get paid to go to school. Absolutely. So uh, I took some general ed classes. And then uh, the school I went to, I went to Diablo Valley College in Pleasant Hill. Hey, DVC. DVC, listen. I know uh, all about it. Amazing program. They had a music industry studies uh, degree. So I ended up taking that, all those courses, and um, the studio that I was recording my own music at, uh, the owner, named, his name was Jeff uh, from Tune Studios, he said, you want to just take start taking sessions? And I was like, shit. Well, yeah. To get paid? He's like, yeah. And I said, shit. All right. And then I was recording my own music anyway, so it was just making me doper at recording my own music. Right. And then... Fine-tuning your skills. Yeah. And you then do. I just got really good at it, and then I started getting clientele, and the word, you know, started spreading, and, you know, I'm a hustler, I'm a promoter, like, so as I was promoting my music career, I was promoting my engineering services. Right. And, you know, word of mouth, and just, you know, spread, and I started working with Fab, and... Yeah, I was going to say, drop some names of who you <laughs> Yeah, with. I was working with Fab, uh... I did uh, I did Gang in Here by Cash Click Book. Uh, yeah, I, recorded, I love that song. I recorded and mixed that song. I, I'm the reason it's always Gang in Here. Yeah, and the hook went twice. That wasn't even supposed to be a hook. I said this needs to be a hook. You did that. Yeah. So there's like there's a couple things that I did like early and back in my day, and that kind of just helped. Um, so I wasn't ever trying to be an engineer. I just kind of like it landed fell into in this it. space. Yeah, yeah that's sure. that's the most organic way to do it, you mm -hmm. know. And I mean, I knew first time I ever met you, you were a star. Like you can just see that on people. So you're only going further, you know. Like that's why I wanted to catch you now. It's like, <laughs> I try to catch people while I have them, you know, because it could get to that point where, you know, you may be unavailable or I may be unavailable. I just want to make sure we get this interview. In. And, I'll always be ready for you, okay? And now you know where to Listen. come to promote anything you need to promote. And SAC, this is, I am SAC's biggest voice. You know, like, I feel like that, I'm going to put myself in that spot. But I feel like that if you need, people in SAC sure. need something to do, like if they need Bay Area plug, uh -huh. hit me up, watch the show. You know, like, that's, that, and now you're here. So now you get to tell my audience, and half of my Mick audience is Sacramento. The other Mick half is definitely the Bay Area. You know, What's up, McSack? I'm a Bay Area busy. That's why they <laughs> make Damn, that bomb hit hard. Yeah, it does. That was <laughs> Eddie's song. I don't even got my headphones Eddie, on. Eddie, let's play that. a song. Eddie, did you pick songs? Did, what did you pick? What did you, what do you want? Did you even listen, Eddie? Oh. Right. <laughs> Which one? You want to let them know change. about Locks Ooh. Change? Locks Change is a song. It's the first <laughs> song that I recorded off this EP. Um, this song is basically uh, just blocking access to yourself. You know, you might always got that one that always come around on some romantic shit. That one that just always thinks it's good might, it's just, it's turning toxic and it's like, you, you don't have access anymore. <laughs> the locks have been changed. <laughs> the locks have been, the locks have been changed. So Jerson. that's pretty much what this song is. Yeah. Hey, it's your girl, Mick Yizzle. Yeah, it's yeah. never worth it. That dick is never worth the stress. Nope. It's not. Change the locks. It's not. And it's usually my lock to change. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's never his. No. It's never his. Mm -hmm. So, Good just way. saying. Okay, um, not playing. Yeah, exactly. So, beat wise, who does your beats on that song? Who did your beat? Do you remember? That one was a producer from Beat Stars. So this EP I did was kind of like a pre, a pre, preview precursor to like all my more original music. Right. Uh, that one was produced by uh, a producer named The Boy. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. And I always put people on the spot, so with the producer shit. No. Um, and the beat, who makes the beats. So. I usually have a producer that I work with. His name is Joy Riser. Joy Riser. And you know who I, else I know who just, we just had her in here with Stacey Angela. Oh, she yeah. does Joy Riser music. I had a, just heard one of her songs. Yeah, Joy Riser is super wild. Where's Joy Riser from? And is it a woman or a man? Joy Riser is a man. He's from Castro Valley. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's awesome. Bay Area. Absolutely. So what are some goals for you that you have coming up this year? What do you got? What is in the future for Karina? Oh, this Studio year, X. 2024. 2024, really. Uh, I just want to grow the, the studio bigger. Um, we just started doing these things called jam sessions where we're really building like the Bay Area music community. We're bridging the gaps of all the genres, all the cliques, um, all the different 
you know, vibes and we're bringing them together because at the end of the day, the one thing that we have in common is music. Yes. And so I want to take that and just make it crazier and bigger and epic and, and take it to more cities. On top of that, uh, we have our artist, we do our artist development camp twice a year where we take artists in and we give them a month of like in-person intensive training um, on all the basics. We go over vocals, we go over fitness, we go over performance. Right, because you do have to be at your breath work. And yeah. Because on stage is different than what you think it is. Yeah, and I think a lot of artists, you know, they, they don't have the foundation. And so these artists that, you know, get a, a song that hits accidentally or whatever there's no artist development there so they just kind of went from start to finish yeah and yeah. then the label scrambling trying to get them so we want to just cut that out and just give and honestly i think it just raises the bar um for us as an area musically anyway right you know what i'm saying make it sound better yeah it's just like let's get let's get everything together from the jump there's no reason you don't understand publishing there's no reason that you know you don't you never performed without like on an actual show mix that you know what i'm saying there's right. just these basic things that it's crazy a lot of artists just don't know they they're haven't just, heard of even like ascap c sax bmis none of that shit. yeah they're just not privy to it so what we do is we kind of put this camp together to give you a foundation um to then go off and do whatever you need with the information but at least you have the information and you have the training and everybody that does our camp you know we build a com they build like a community uh, each cohort so we're doing that uh, with the studio and then me personally um, I just want to drop all the music I probably have like almost a hundred songs just sitting you hear her fuck with her words though she <laughs> fucks with her adjectives and her verbs you hear her words cohort that's a big one <laughs> I heard a couple big ones in there I love big words that's my shit I love vocabulary I'm I a vocabulary language. too I'm a language girl so. I think in another life I was like a linguistic like person that's super dope I always yeah. say I fuck with my words I fuck with my adjectives I fuck with my verbs because I do. I like to spit those big words, too. Because it's... I know it. You know, like, my parents always taught me words when I was growing up. And mm -hmm. I just retained all that shit. So now I And then I'm they just, come out at the least, like, the weirdest times. Yeah. And you just... You at the bar having a drunk conversation with somebody. And then all of a sudden, you just spit this big-ass word right. at them. Like, uh, I was kerfuffle. pontificating yeah. the other day. They said, huh? Oh, like, there was a kerfuffle outside. They'll yeah. Be like, the fuck? Yeah. yeah. But it, it's... It that's mi a mick kerfuffle. <laughs> Tussie, what's your story? What do you got going on right now? Anything you want to promote? Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm doing a Halloween party. What? Uh, what are you going to be for Halloween? Uh, I, well, we're doing a pirate theme. So we're doing a boat party. Myself <laughs> I am the captain. Now. Yeah. You, right? That's my line. <laughs> I I'm know the captain. I'm a mcpsychic. I'm the <laughs> Hi, C. So, so uh, go on my Instagram at DJ T A S I. Uh, we're doing a Halloween boat party. It's myself and the world champion DJ J Espinoza will be in the mix. Um, it's in Oakland, Jack Lennon Square. You know, get your tickets, get mm -hmm. on my Instagram, hit the link, Party Life SF. You know how we do it. Yeah. Super so that's dope. that's really what I got going on this month. That's like my big thing that I'm super excited about. Um, just because uh, Chas Spinoza and I, we, we grew up together, working together since we were like kids, literally kids, 15, 16 years old. Right. And this is the first party that we've DJed since we were kids DJing all age parties back I've been today. trying to get out to one of Tussie's parties. Come on. You have to come to the party. It's McLeod. It know. is McLeod. It's about to be McCrazy. Mc Don't even get me on a McBoat with Tussie. <laughs> I, had, I had an idea for his uh, for his costume, but he's not rolling and I'm hella mad. No. <laughs> okay, listen. Tussie's last name is Joe. Okay. Right? You follow him, right? Okay. Joe. So I think he should be a coffee mug and because he's a cup of Joe. It's a him in it. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. a cup yeah. of Joe. But the outfit that she sent me literally covers. It's an entire cup, like right. But it's you can't see my face. You can't oh, even tell it's you're me in the cup. Yeah, that's even funnier. It's a mascot. Do you have eyes? I maybe I don't even know. You I should do it. it. What's the the party's called? One Piece Halloween suit. Yeah, it's One Piece. The the it's it's a pirate theme though. You know the the TV show. I am the captain. No. So there's a, it's an anime cartoon, One Piece, that they made into a. Oh, it's like a cartoon. Yeah. How I've would I ever that. know that? I thought it meant your, your outfit has to be <laughs> Well, no, you know. No. Points I did. I thought that was like very Oh, that's specific. why you thought I should she be a couple Joe? Well, was I was like, I was like One Piece Halloween no. party. I was like, you, that's very strange. You actually but, okay. don't have to show up as a pirate, just by the way. You Everyone's going to show up in a One Piece outfit. There's going to be a lot of mascots because it, that's what it sounds like. I will, not, I will not be in a One Piece I swear to God, I won't. 
<laughs> Happy Halloween early, y'all. It's giving a one piece. Uh, it's giving one piece. Yeah. Um, I want to make sure and get your inspirations in. So who inspired you to do this music? Who'd you listen to? Oh, man. Who didn't I listen to? I obviously have to give credit to Nicki Minaj. I think that I fake retired rapping at like 14. I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. Like, I'm going <laughs> to be a nurse or some shit. And then I watched uh, Nicki Minaj's... Uh, her cipher on BET, like her first one, and I was like, "Oh, it's that's where it's at." Yeah, and I was instantly like, "I didn't stop since then." Yeah, uh, that's that's kind of how I felt when I saw Mac Dre for the first time. It was just like gobsmacked. Yeah, know? it's just like I'm never gonna stop now. Um, I think that was like one of my biggest inspirations as a teenager. Of course, like you know, I had a lot of hip hop inspirations growing up. Um, that very like, I don't know. I had Eve. I had. I liked Bow Wow because I was a kid. I love Bow Wow. I, I still love, love Bow Wow. I had my dad gave me an old Das Effect CD. Oh, we want effects. Oh, what? yeah, Das Effect. And Lucy. I played. That, I remember Lucy's. Yes, that was my shit. I played that CD out as a kid. I didn't know who they were or nothing, but bump stickity bump stickity bump bump. Yeah, yeah. That shit like was wild. like the bounce and the cadence. Like you know what I'm saying. I just I kind of got inspiration from just like understanding different flows and and really crafting your your flow i think that's very important i do unfortunately think it's a lost art now yeah um and your sound and it, yeah, it, it just, is all part of your curation like yeah you said, so. and just your sound so i mean there was them a lot of people like i loved you know bay area rapper i love e40 i loved fab growing up i, I have mean, them i have them all i don't have fab on me yet but i got jacka see it through that's for jack that's oh, a Yuri guy. Hell yeah. that's for rbl right there that's lavish d Oh, That's shit. the Yep and the Nope is for 40. Oh, you really make with the shit. Choices. Yeah, Singular is my newest one because she's from Santa Rosa and nobody really. I tried to get her name tattooed on me, but I misspelled Sarsaparilla. And there's an extra R in there, just so you know. Singular. And she's like, you misspelled it. And I was like, fuck you. No, I didn't. She's all you did. And I was like, fuck it, run it. So I put the logo right. on because you can't uh, fuck that up. And then my opinion for Maul. That's Doey Rock, Rest in Peace, Soul on Fire. Uh, 211 from the city. You got that's, Nope? Yeah, Yep in the Nope. Right there. For that's clean. Thank you. Wow, that's major. Yeah, and I have our, uh, Mac Dre on my leg because that's how I started was feeling myself. You know, like that was my first initial uh, hip-hop experience when I got to California was Mac Dre. Mm -hmm. So we're going to play another song by Karina. Uh, Eddie, what do you want to play next, Eddie? Ma, ba, Red Eyes. Wait, can you play No Chaser then play Red Eyes? So we'll do that. We want to do them back to back? Sure. Yeah, we can do those back to back I'm and then we'll come in. No Chasers in the uh, single for the summer EP, Jar. No Chasers, she was gassing. You have airdrop on that? Uh, it's in the. It's in that. Uh... I sent both. Gio, what up, boy? All right, cool. So, uh, how do people get in, in part with your sessions, your jam sessions? So, uh, they're invite only, but if you, like, are a musician, um, specifically, like, a musician that plays instruments, um, or a singer, or, like, a really good rapper that can freestyle, then just, uh, hit us in the DM, the Studio X510 DM, and, uh, you know, tell us what you got, why you got it, and maybe send us a video. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's an excellent way to do it. So, we're going to be playing two... Um, two songs by Karina. It's gonna be Red Eyes and then No Chaser, or is it flipped? If we can, can we do No Chaser and Red Eyes? No, no Chaser then Red Eyes. Yeah. So it's kind of like the flip of what I said. Yeah. So we're downloading it now. Um, we got Remy Red is in the parking lot, and we also still got Randy, the Randy style. He'll be in here as the last interview tonight. I actually started with him on internet radio 12 years ago with Jason. Damn at KUMS FM and it was spelled KUMS FM but we call, it was called Cums FM. Oh shit. So every artist that would come in there cuz wow. you know I was talk, I was fucking around with Stalin and Juice and all them back in the day. Mm -hmm. That's how I started and they'd be like Cums FM like everybody who could <laughs> Perv it out, did perv it out. Oh yeah. You know? <laughs> why wouldn't you? It's right there. California underground music scene. All right, we can run that in. DJ Eddie Z, Karina in the mix, y'all. Yay! She's a superstar. I swear oh, to God. Hey, hey it's I your girl. Am I fucking up? Did we go back to back or are we? <laughs> I'm fucking up. That's what I stay doing. Hey, it's your girl, Mick Yizzle in the hizzle. We just came out of that. Um, no, there was no chaser. Yeah. Super dope. 
Um, sorry, I was out there letting people in the door because you know I still have no assistance somehow. We need to get Ryan you an intern. Grinding. <laughs> you make, two, you make Mick busy. Grinding. Two fucking decades later, when Ma, I'm still getting the door. Get and her a Mick intern stack. <laughs> <laughs> I try, but you know people don't take the shit seriously like I do. And I be on some bullshit. Like I'm like, no, I need you to take it like a real job. You're know, like, this you is a me? real job. It really is. Hey, yeah. we need an intern here at the 360 Radio. If you're ready, send in your resume. Be prepared to pass an interview through me. Hey. And if you can pass an interview interview through me, then we can see what the fuck. What the fuck really going on? Make ASAP. Make ASAP. Make ASAP. Make ASAP. Make okay. Make and right be Mick serious. Mick serious. We no not Mick playing. If you, you guys, we're all gonna get sued by McDonald's. But I was like, I wish I would. I wish McDonald's would reach out to me on any type of monetary shit. You see, they bringing back the McRib. Yes. And I actually used to eat it as a kid. I've never Ooh. had a McRib, but never. I will. Ha- I will now. Uh, yeah, I saw um, a viral video the other day where somebody took a blowtorch to a whole McDonald's meal, and that shit did not burn. Yeah, you should probably never try <laughs> any scientific experience. I had a I had a teacher in high school that put a, a thing of fries in a jar, and it like never got nothing bad. happened. It didn't. Mold. You probably could still eat it to this day. It's been about twelve years, but. Yeah, I don't... What's that preservatives like a motherfucker? Yeah, but it's like, who's going to think about that? Of course this shit is bad for you. Shout out Top Notch Smoke Shop. Yeah, we, we got the big plug on that. And Dream, Dream Cannabis. We're going to be doing cannabis. a Dream Festival here soon. So Do we have any product? We do. It's uh, Eddie has it. Um, okay, Eddie hogging we'll, all the good stuff. We'll definitely be... Oh, and One World, I got a One World magazine in here. Hey, there we go. Caesar from One World. Karina, if you had ten times the budget you have now, what would you spend it on? Oh, my God. <laughs> there you ten go. Ten times the budget? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would open a way bigger facility and make it like a compound. I'm ready. And go crazy. And I would be able to have budget to take my career, like, put a little bit more into my music career. Um, Because right now it's like really all going to the studio. What's something you need to tell people in your industry to start or stop doing right now? Something they should either start or stop doing right now. What they should start or stop doing. Uh, uh, uh. Shameless promoting. There you go. Tessie answered Okay, Tessie got one. Shameless promoting. So you should stop that shameless promoting. No, you should start Start it. it. Okay. Start it. Because everybody's too caught up in thinking they're like celebrities and shit. And they think I that they can't. I only want can. 10 posts on my page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Russia, have gotta, you seen mine? I have like 67,000. It's Mick lit. I have like 100, and that's cool. I did I did like a rebrand, so I deleted everything. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. No, no, you got to post shit. I think I want to tell everyone to um, stop, stop complaining. Mm, it's a good one. I think that's annoying as fuck. Stop complaining, stop whining, and do something about it. If you don't like the state of your local music scene, make a change. I feel like the dialogue is getting so fucking played out and so boring and so repetitive, but I'm I, ain't nobody doing shit. That's why I, you just keep pushing your line, you know. Like I, I opened the studio, started jams, did this, that, and the third, and it's like everyone's still having these same talks and nobody's changing anything. Not I'm not gonna say nobody. There are a lot of people that's doing their thing, but I still feel like um, the the discourse is still repetitive right when it comes to you know our local music scene etc cetera, etc cetera. and i just think uh ain't nothing to it but to do it so okay. stop whining and do something about you it. you heard the lady i'm mm-hmm. just saying the woman and as a woman in this industry do you find it ch- more challenging or is it easier for you uh, or is it n- doesn't matter i think it used to be difficult i think it used to be difficult when i was just an artist because it's the me 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 show um, when you're an artist, Absolutely. and now that but you have all these aspects, yeah. yeah. Now that I'm in a space where I'm putting other people in position and we're educating other people, it, it seems to be a little bit. I'm not gonna say easier because I still feel like it's kind of new, but um, I think when you're first starting, it's definitely hard, and you have to you have to go harder to be taken seriously, or else they're just gonna treat you like some. Absolutely, you feel me? You know, I've I've been told Keep from forever that i'm insane like they, they'll be like when you're watching those artists on stage you just look crazy and i was like i am yeah. but you have to be but everyone knows who you are to get through this shit you've yeah. got to be passionate about it and I, if i didn't look at them like that it would mean i didn't give a fuck you and know? you have to be confident and i think you exude confidence thank you uh, yeah. absolutely okay. you feel my me rainbow big pop that collar that's right mm. i got a rainbow listen and, hey uh, hello hey listen <laughs> <laughs> you I let not wearing know. It. You, it's not wearing you. You wearing it. I let them know, ladies. You can still hook it up for the cheap. 
All right. And the, and the earrings are there all day long. The mm -hmm. buckets are there all day long. You just have to know how to put it together. You do got a wonderful bucket game. I ain't going to lie. Man, and now all of a sudden I'm tired of buckets. So what are we going to do next? Visors? You know, like, what's next? Beanie season? It's beanie season. So we should probably hit the beanies. Well, up. I like the, I think stay with the bucket. The buckets. I like the bucket. You know, I'm always evolving. So we'll do that because I have so many, you know, like. Maybe. A rain or a bucket, bucket with like fucking LED, like fucking. Oh, that's so vicious. Is that made. a so vicious? Yeah, that's bucket? a so vicious. Bucket. What up, so vicious? What's Shout up, out so vicious? vicious. That's, that's my uh, Fuchi. The yeah, that's um, so good. You know, it looks good on air. I'm just saying. Hey, yeah. uh, shout out to Mia Moore tuned in, 102.5. Yay! Mia Moore, what up? Woo! Yes, we got people on the live feed. But we're going to play um, the uh, Red Eye song. Yeah. So, and then we'll come back, tell everybody how to find you, where to find the music, where to find you on your socials, how to get the, the jam sessions one more time. Tessie, we can talk about your event, and then we're going to take some pictures, and we got Remy Red in the building. Remy it's Red. Your girl, Mick Yizzle, let's run that in. DJ Eddie Z on the wheels of Steel. Yeah. Same as me, huh? Red eyes over wet eyes, bitch. Yeah. Cheers, cheers. So I can start drinking. Cheers. 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 It doesn't count if you don't look each other nice. Big cheers. Big cheers. There you go. Big cheers. Hey, this is actually courtesy of Dakar's Mars Radio. They brought this bottle last week. I was unable to pop it, but I knew Remy wanted to pop something when she came, so it's ready to go. Um, I love the red eyes over wet eyes concept. Thank yes. You. Because fuck the crying shit. To you feel me? We don't need all that. Who the fuck want to like, like in this, there's so much going on in this world and I feel like there's so much to do and so much to be done. Who the fuck want to sit there and cry when I can literally just take an Uber to the airport and go wherever the fuck I want? Man, there's so many options. I just like, imagine sitting crying when like I'm fucking lit in real life. Like be fucking for real with Crying you, tears of joy in first class. I'm Literally, doing like I'd rather the, cry my next plane, relationship I'm doing for the love of Mickey. That's I'm not I'm doing a contest, goddammit. it. And they're gonna have to take me out on dates. Can I produce it? It might be hood dates. Yes, you can. Oh it's gonna fuck be yeah. dates. No, 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 no. Oh, I got so many ideas. Man, for the love of you, because I'm down to do some trap shit. You know, like let's go. Let's go. I love that shit. I love everything. So oh, fuck yeah. I'm, and I love good food, and I love bad food, and I love all the shit. Let's go. Let's go. I do require your, some per, some uh, prescriptions, but we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, what's your biggest ick? Uh, feet. Like, feet. you know, like, guys. Okay, no, no. What's, like, your biggest ick? Like, I oh, actually, like, men? Man, <laughs> for men? Like, the, like the it's, if they, oh, if they do something, you're like, ugh. Hmm. I don't, I can't fuck with nobody that wears, like, fake chains. Like, it's okay. just, just wear, don't wear nothing. Like, I prefer you wear no jewelry. That's like a deal breaker? If yeah. you know his chain's fake, you like, I, I'm out of here. I'm cool. <laughs> like, I can't. It's just, just ick. It's like, ew. You checking, know? checking the ew. gold of mine. And I also have kind of a bad experience of men with gaps in their teeth. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Me hey. too. <laughs> There's a special place oh, for Oh, my lines. God. There's a special place for Bruh. lies. Right no, lies. you did not. Lies. There's a special place for lies right there in that gap. Woo. Man, we'll tell you the story off air. Hey, man. Oh, oh man. man. I am traumatized. Man. Oh, All oh, I got to say is you know who you are. So. <laughs> I hope it's not the same person. It's not. It's not. It's definitely not. Not unless you fucking went in scrubs, like, and I don't think that is you. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Where, oh, no. where can they find you? It's How shit. can they get it's to you? Too. How can they find it's you on socials? Loud. Where can they download your music? All that stuff right now, and whoever you want to thank, because this is your time. Uh, so my name is Karina on all socials. It's Karina Music, and my name is spelled with an X because that was so much easier um, to find me on DSPs. Smart. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My regular name is spelled with a K, but that's not the point. X-A-R-I-N-A-M-U-S-I-C, -I 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 Karina Music on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, if you want to book time at our recording studio, I own a studio in East Oakland in Jingletown. Mm. It's called Studio X 510. Zero. I want. I wanted to say five one zero, but you know somebody's gonna type an actual O and then <laughs> yeah, and then it's yeah. a problem. Right. So it's Studio X five one zero. Um, there you can book studio time if you want to do a podcast. You can book your podcast, live stream, songwriting sesh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We do jam sessions. Um, we're, our next one's gonna be in November. So um, if you want to be a part of that, um, send us a DM if you're a musician, yeah. if you play any type of instrument. 
especially a rare instrument like a violin or a cello. Right. Hell yeah, hit us up. It's like a, a super vibe. A it's, harp it's, or any of that shit. It's yeah. a. It's not like your typical event. You know, it's it's like an audience participation type event. Okay. So it's like you, you're coming to be to be part of the event. Like you can perform. You can, you know, if you have a, a, a song that you already know, rap it with, you know, drummers and right. violinists Live and keyboards. Yeah, 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 do something. We just jam out. It's, it's, it's super dope. It's really dope. I'm going to put a few people onto that. Uh, yeah. I got some people in my I would right love now. for you to be at the next one, for I'm sure. When is you it? You got to make a uh, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have the date yet, but it will be in November. We're going to skip October because we, uh, we have this artist development camp. Also, if you want to participate in our next artist development camp, we will have one in the spring and um, we do them in the fall in the spring um and that's good for any upcoming artists we also do various like workshops and and things at our studio we do a lot so i would just say follow the studio if you're in the bay area we are a great resource um we do give a lot of game again that's studio x510 my name is karina i want to thank um tussie for being the uh -huh. best passenger princess i am the captain now. ever <laughs> and make sure uh you see him and jay espinoza on october 27th on the boat shout out mickey mc ye mickey MC aka Yee. mickey uh for mickey. having us here i really do appreciate you i think oh, you're no doing problem. something beautiful Thank for the you. culture i appreciate and you. for music and you're very very important and i'm i'm glad i finally got to get out yes. here yes you'll be back I will. I will. I do. I do like SAC. I feel like SAC really cares about their party scene, and I'm from San Jose, Absolutely. and I feel like San Jose really cares about their party scene. So uh, I, I'm excited to go out in the in the. Town.